Hi everybody, I'm Lisa. Behind the camera is Bill. Together we are Billy So. Welcome to our channel. This pile of wood behind me that's already cut to size and these wheels is for the second one. The first one is already completed and inside and I'm going to show you what that is in a moment. But I want to tell you the actual sizes of the wood we used before we cut them with our handy dandy chop saw. This piece of wood is a one by two by eight foot board. This piece is a two by six by eight foot board. These are one by six by six foot fence boards. We have six inch steel wheels and of course some wheel bolts. Follow me inside. Let me show you what we've got going on. This ought to be very interesting. <laughs> if you recall and have watched our videos recently, you saw that not too long ago, I sold all of our furniture in our guest room. Not only that, but Bill and the wonderful family that purchased the furniture from us spent so much time carefully organizing everything on a very small SUV they jangled it inside, they piled it up on top, they strapped it down a million different ways to make sure that for their hour drive on the freeway, none of it fell off. And I'm happy to report that it didn't. It did make it safe and sound. We are now redesigning and recreating our guest bedroom. This is a twin XL bed and frame that we have built. Also, we're going to have a second one that's going to run right here along this wall. In this corner here, we're going to have a four by four foot table. And let me show you what's gonna be so cool about that. This bed is made to roll, hence the wheels that I showed you. So when the table is put in the corner there, the bed during the day will be rolled under the table and this can be used like a really cool sitting area and couch. At night, the bed can roll out, obviously for someone to sleep on. Here's our second mattress for the second bed we're gonna be building. We do have some pillows here that we're going to have arranged on this little couch bed area once we have it all put together so that you have a really comfortable, relaxing place to hang out. Let's continue on. I'm now going to take this all apart and we're going to show you step by step what we did and how we built this. This is our bed frame. Not only did we build this bed frame ourselves, but Bill completely designed it. Back in the 70s, Bill had a friend that had a setup just like this in his room. It was really great to hang out, kick back, and have sleepovers in. So he thought this would be perfect for our guest room. And I completely agree. The size of the boards that we cut were cut to fit perfectly a twin XL mattress, which measures 39 by 79. As you can see, we cut and we put together the pieces. This piece right here just fits in between the two side pieces of wood. And we have right here a brace that is set in place to hold these pieces of wood for stability. And the piece of wood here, it just rests on this edge and there's another one over here on this edge. It's really great for the stability of the bed. This piece here is actually a cover that we purchased for a box spring. We were looking to get a bed skirt and when we saw these, we thought this would fit perfectly and we're so glad we bought it because we actually were able to just put a little hole in it so that we could put the wheel through it. It just pulls over and then it has these little pieces of elastic and a button right here on the underside so that you can make it as tight as you'd like so that it fits on perfectly. This, I will show you why this is important in just a moment, but it was really important for our design. Next, I'm gonna put the Twin XL mattress on top of our bed frame that we built. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. 
It is so wonderful and such a great design. You just need to lift it and move it that way just a little bit. There we go. It sits nicely right on the edge here, which is great. Just like that. Then I'm going to put on a mattress cover. This twin XL mattress cover fits so perfectly on here. Roll out. too tight. There we go. All right. Perfect fit. Make a sheet here. Next I'm going to put the twin XL sheet set on. I have the fitted sheet to go on first. this looks with the wood covered the way it is it is so nice I really love the way that turned out next we're gonna put on the sheet not least is the bed cover which I am so proud of because I made this bed cover <laughs> and I already have everything cut and over here and ready for the second one all I have to do is stitch it up and put it together but this bed cover is so amazing we're also really excited about it because we can make new bed covers and change them out for the holidays we already have some things in mind that we're looking forward to. But it fits so nicely on this bed. So as you can see, there is just a little bit of extra play here. And we designed it that way intentionally because we want to be able to put a blanket, maybe even a comforter underneath it, so that when someone's spending the night, they have something to cover up with and be nice and warm and cozy. This actually took for two beds, eight and a half yards of fabric to make. And I got the fabric from Joann's. It was on sale. Plus I had an additional coupon. So it was so perfect. When I went and picked it up, I was so happy that they had it and that it was the exact design that we were looking for. As you may recall from a past video, we bought our twin XL mattresses at Living Spaces. They are the Revive 4. The Revive 3 was too stiff, the Revive 5 was too soft, and the Revive 4 was just perfect. As soon as we get the bed set completely finished in here, we will show you again and give you an update. But I'm going to go ahead and end our video here. I'd like you guys to know that I have sweated myself to death for you because our air conditioning unit is right outside the window here of this room and if we had it going on this hundred degree day while we were filming this video for you that's all you would have heard so there's my sacrifice for you guys <laughs> don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe bye